Hello, good on good fellas, and welcome to week eight. But we're not here for week eight. We're going to talk about week seven. News alert, news alert. This just in, Ian Soper, the owner of Witness Protection, was found. Suspect's location? The Bada Bing. Witness Protection decided to make an appearance and snatch their third win of the season over Bada Bing, who was the lone undefeated team in Gridiron Goodfellow League. Mike Turner and Jer Joe Jersey Boy Flacco had a great day that helped push Witness Protection over the Bing, who was in serious buy trouble this week. The Bing suffers their first loss of the season, but still sits atop the Brat Pack in first place. How about those made men? They win their second in a row and are right in the running for first place. His team is well-rounded, and every player on his team scored in double digits except, except his defense. Um, he beat legend in his own mind, Mike Collins, who actually had a good week. I guess he thinks picking up problem child Kenny Britt is the answer. Only time will tell. How about those wise guys? Like a bad case of herpes, they are back and out of nowhere, and win his third straight game over the struggling Walnuts. I'd like to say it was a coaching decision on the Walnut side, but his, his team is just um, his team is just struggling as a whole, with his big name quarterback Tony Romo going down for the season. Is there a waiver wire gym out there for him, or is he looking to make that big trade? Hey, Bully, I do have Matt Castle. Hmm. The Bone Breakers and Funny Ha matchup is really like picking between asparagus and cauliflower, or it's like election day. Someone will be declared the winner, but no one really wins. Both teams are towards the end of the pack, but funny ha is Funny Ha Ha really that bad, or are they just going up against good teams? He currently has the most points against by over 100 points. That being said, he had 50 points on his bench in McFadden, so maybe it is just bad coaching. The Scallions and Fugazi had the closest battle of the week with only one point between them. The Scallions did have some good numbers on his bench. It's hard to believe that with seven running backs, the Fugazis lack depth at that position. Well, that's about it for this week. Good luck in week eight, good fellas. And um, I'm going to le let you listen to um, what witness protection owner Ian Soper has to say with his predictions. Thanks, fellas. You're on. All right. Your name. Ian Soper, witness protection program. Biggest bust of 2010. <laughs> Um, oof. I've put very little thought in this, so I'm not even sure. Let's see. How about biggest bust? I'm going to go with Andre Johnson. I think he's going to get hurt, and he's not going to do very well, and he's not going to put up the kind of numbers he's put up in the last few years. Um, biggest surprise of 2010? Hmm. Biggest surprise 2010. Um, Orton, quarterback of the Denver Broncos, going to be a top 10 fantasy quarterback. Um, who will win the Super Bowl? Who will win the Super Bowl this year? Green Bay. Have you ever won Golden Jack? Yes, I have. Other than yourself, who do you predict to win in 2010? Um, if it's not me, I think odds are... We could have either a repeat with Steve or, yeah, I'm going to go with, with Steve. Can you tell me which owner was in the first year of Gridiron but is no longer involved? Yes, that fine gentleman was downstairs in the lobby as I was coming up, so that would be George. Who do you predict will be the bitch this year? I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with Jerry this year. 